If the vehicle has a yellow fuel cap, E85 or flex fuel can be used in the vehicle. Recommended fuel. Use regular unleaded gasoline with a posted octane rating of 87 or higher. If the octane rating is less than 87, an audible knocking noise, commonly referred to as spark knock, might be heard when driving. If this occurs, use a gasoline rated at 87 octane or higher as soon as possible. If heavy knocking is heard when using gasoline rated at 87 octane or higher, the engine needs service. Gasolines containing oxygenates, such as ethers and ethanol, as well as reformulated gasolines are available in some cities. If these gasolines comply with the previously described specification, then they are acceptable to use. However, E85, 85% ethanol, and other fuels containing more than 15% ethanol must be used only in flex fuel vehicles. Caution! Do not use fuel containing methanol. It can corrode metal parts in the fuel system and also damage plastic and rubber parts. That damage would not be covered under the vehicle warranty. Some gasolines that are not reformulated for low emissions can contain an octane enhancing additive called methylcyclopendidienyl manganese tricarbon, MMT. Do not use gasolines with MMT as they can reduce spark plug life and affect emission control system performance. The malfunction indicator lamp may turn on. If this occurs, see your dealer for service. Gasoline specifications. At a minimum, gasoline should meet ASTM specification D4814. Some gasolines contain an octane enhancing additive called methylcyclopendidienyl manganese tricarbon, MMT. We recommend against the use of gasolines containing MMT. California fuel requirements. If the vehicle is certified to meet California emissions standards, it is designed to operate on fuels that meet California specifications. See the underhood emission control label. If this fuel is not available in states adopting California emissions standards, the vehicle will operate satisfactorily on fuels meeting federal specifications, but emission control system performance might be affected. The malfunction indicator lamp could turn on and the vehicle might fail a smog check test. If this occurs, return to your authorized dealer for diagnosis. If it is determined that the condition is caused by the type of fuel used, repairs might not be covered by the vehicle warranty. Fuels in foreign countries. If planning to drive in countries outside the US or Canada, the proper fuel might be hard to find. Check regional auto club or fuel retail brand websites for availability in the country where driving. Never use leaded gasoline, fuel containing methanol, or any other fuel not recommended. Costly repairs caused by use of improper fuel would not be covered by the vehicle warranty. Fuel additives. To provide cleaner air, all gasolines in the United States are now required to contain additives that help prevent engine and fuel system deposits from forming allowing the emission control system to work properly. In most cases, nothing should have to be added to the fuel. However, some gasolines contain only the minimum amount of additive required to meet U.S. Environmental Protection Agency regulations. To help keep fuel injectors and intake valves clean and avoid problems due to dirty injectors or valves, look for gasoline that is advertised as top-tier detergent gasoline. Look for the top tier label on the fuel pump to ensure gasoline meets enhanced detergency standards developed by the auto companies. A list of marketers providing top tier detergent gasoline can be found at www.toptiergas.com. For customers who do not use top tier detergent gasoline regularly, one bottle of GM Fuel System Treatment Plus, added to the fuel tank at every engine oil change can help clean deposits from fuel injectors and intake valves. GM Fuel System Treatment Plus is the only gasoline additive recommended by General Motors. It is available at your dealer. Gasolines containing oxygenates, such as ethers and ethanol, and reformulated gasolines might be available in your area. We recommend that you use these gasolines, if they comply with the specifications described earlier. However, E85 85% ethanol, and other fuels containing more than 15% ethanol must not be used in vehicles that were not designed for those fuels. Notice, this vehicle was not designed for fuel that contains methanol.
do not use fuel containing methanol. It can corrode metal parts in the fuel system and also damage plastic and rubber parts. That damage would not be covered under the vehicle warranty. Some gasolines that are not reformulated for low emissions can contain an octane enhancing additive called methylcyclopendidienol manganese tricarbonyl, MMT. Ask the attendant where you buy gasoline whether the fuel contains MMT. We recommend against the use of such gasolines. Fuels containing MMT can reduce spark plug life and affect emission control system performance. The malfunction indicator lamp might turn on. If this occurs, return to your dealer for service. Fuel E85, 85% ethanol. Vehicles that have a yellow fuel cap can use either unleaded gasoline or ethanol fuel containing up to 85% ethanol, E85. We encourage the use of E85 in vehicles that are designed to use it. The ethanol in E85 is a renewable fuel, meaning it is made from renewable sources such as corn and other crops. Many service stations will not have an 85% ethanol fuel, E85, pump available. The U.S. Department of Energy has an alternative fuels website, www.ifdg.energy.gov slash ifdg slash locator slash stations slash, that can help you find D85 fuel. Those stations that do have E85 should have a label indicating ethanol content. Do not use the fuel if the ethanol content is greater than 85%. At a minimum. E85 should meet ASTM specification D5798 or CGSB specification 3.512. Filling the tank with fuel mixtures that do not meet ASTM or CGSB specifications can affect drivability and could cause the malfunction indicator lamp to come on. As the outside temperature approaches freezing, ethanol fuel distributors should supply winter grade ethanol, the same as with unleaded gasoline. The starting characteristics of E85 fuel make it unsuitable for use when temperatures fall below minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. In the range of minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, to 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it may take more time to start the engine. E85 has less energy per liter, gallon, than gasoline so you will need to refill the fuel tank more often when using E85 than when you are using gasoline. Notice, some additives are not compatible with E85 fuel and can harm the vehicle's fuel system. Do not add anything to E85. Damage caused by additives would not be covered by the vehicle warranty. Notice, this vehicle was not designed for fuel that contains methanol. Do not use fuel containing methanol. It can corrode metal parts in the fuel system and also damage plastic and rubber parts. That damage would not be covered under the vehicle warranty. Filling the tank. Warning. Fuel vapors and fuel fires burn violently and can cause injury or death. To help avoid injuries to you and others, read and follow all the instructions on the fuel pump island. Turn off the engine when refueling. Keep sparks, flames and smoking materials away from fuel. Do not leave the fuel pump unattended. Do not re-enter the vehicle while pumping fuel. Keep children away from the fuel pump and never let children pump fuel. Fuel can spray out if the fuel cap is opened too quickly. This spray can happen if the tank is nearly full, and is more likely in hot weather. Open the fuel cap slowly and wait for any hiss noise to stop then unscrew the cap all the way. The tethered fuel cap is behind the fuel door on the vehicle's passenger side. To open the fuel door, push the rearward center edge in and release. When applied pressure is removed, the fuel door will spring partially open. Turn the fuel cap counterclockwise to remove. Do not release the cap too soon or it will spring back. Reinstall the cap by turning it clockwise until it clicks. If the cap is not properly installed, the malfunction indicator lamp will come on. Do not top off or overfill the tank. Wait a few seconds before removing the nozzle. Clean fuel from painted surfaces as soon as possible. Warning! If a fire starts while you are refueling, do not remove the nozzle. Shut off the flow of fuel by shutting off the pump or by notifying the station attendant. Leave the area immediately. Notice, if a new fuel cap is needed, 
be sure to get the right type of cap from your dealer. The wrong type of fuel cap might not fit properly, might cause the malfunction indicator lamp to light, and could damage the fuel tank and emissions system. Filling a portable fuel container. Warning. Filling a portable fuel container while it is in the vehicle can cause fuel vapors that can ignite either by static electricity or other means. You or others could be badly burned and the vehicle could be damaged. Always use approved fuel containers. Remove the container from the vehicle, trunk, or pickup bed before filling. Place the container on the ground. Place the nozzle inside the fill opening of the container before dispensing fuel and keep it in contact with the fill opening until filling is complete. Fill the container no more than 95% full to allow for expansion. Do not smoke, light matches, or use lighters while pumping fuel. Avoid using cell phones or other electronic devices.